take a nice comfortable seat. Although I said a nice comfortable seat, it sounds like very simple, but this requires skill to find very conducive, comfortable seat because you have to assume the body from inside out. So you have to really connect with your body. What am I feeling right now? This body. Just I thought today, just go back to the basic, so to speak, but at the same time, very profound basic. So everybody has a different bone, right? Everybody has a different structure. So even I said, have a, find a comfortable seat, everybody different, what that means. So they have the hip bone, right? Like a hip, like this. And um, this is a femur going, what? A thigh bone, right? Going connected. So some people rotate hip joint then the femur going like that. Some people's uh, thigh, thigh bone, going outward, external rotation. Some people more internal rotation. So depends on that, because that's how we are born. You know, we have that structure. Now because of that, some people are very hard to sit cross leg, or some people are easier to sit. But the, even then, there's the alignment principle. So that's what we want to do. First, you find the uh, seat. So then if knee is higher than the pelvis, then you have to raise your cushions. So first thing is, I think we have to let go of this idea about there's such a thing as so-called perfect posture. We're all different and we don't compare to the neighbor. Some people are so easy to sit on the floor without cushion, just flop. <laughs> That's their structure, body structure. Especially as a Westerner, we're not used to sit on the floor, and so that's the way it is. So then perfectly fine sit on the chair. But if we try to sit on the cushion or the sit on the floor once in a while, then we have to um, kind of adjust it. And the tailbone is higher than the knee. Then the, that way, a uh, pelvic floor is tilted a um, little forward, like this. This is the same as standing when we are standing, just natural standing. So pelvic floor is a little tilted forward like this, right? So that's exactly the same. When we sit, just the legs are folded, but still maintain this alignment. Back is straight, when we sit straight, but there are a couple of curves, right? So maintain the little uh, lower curve. So see if you have a little nice uh, curve on your lower back. As we grow older, like me, I'm losing the curve, but still I have a feeling, internal curve. I kind of find, okay, this is my curve. It might look straight from the outside, but I started to connect with my own alignment from inside out. So that I want you to discover yourself. See, am I very stable? Comfortable? No pain? Then, another thing is this muscle. We don't want to use a muscle to hold up. When we sit upright like this, muscle is like a melting down. See if you can have a sense of that. No muscle tension, no any single muscle is holding up. More like a skeleton is holding two sit bones, pointed little sit bone. There's a reason for that name. The sit bone is holding up like a two point. Just the skeletons holding me up. See if you can sense. Then rest of that uh, all draping, melting. Shoulders melt, side bodies melting, draping down. So that means may not be completely still. Like when you're balancing, subtle movement, right? Especially breathing in, breathing out. So bo body is organic experience of totality, movement, and stillness. 
So see if you can connect with that sense. Sense into the body, not as a solid muscle chunk of things. Perhaps made of light, flow of energy, which we just、uh, cultivated through exercise. See if you can experience it directly. Notice sensation of sitting. Letting yourself be held by whatever you are sitting on. Allowed it to hold you. Notice the sound and the, the quietude or silence, which is listening at the same time. Just letting it move through you, not grabbing the sound. Notice your breath that is already breathing you, and the spaciousness which the breath movement is happening in. At the same time, so connect with the flow of energy, pranas within you, and the space still quiet. Open, awake, spaciousness. So that becomes a focus of your cultivation of attention. So for the next couple of minutes, I will be quiet. Just rest your awareness in that flow of energy associated with breathing and spaciousness or the stillness. The quietude that the movement is happening in.